Greetings. So Trey Xavier of the Gear Guides channel has been doing this really cool series where he takes a band and he deconstructs how they write their songs, examines some of the things they do very often, some of the kind of uniqueness of what they do, and then in turn, writes a song in that style. He did a really great one with Ghost not too long ago, and now he's tackled probably my favorite band of all time, Metallica. Being a fan of Metallica and of Trey's, I thought it'd be fun just to check it out and kind of grade him on how he did. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Prisoner of Apathy. Right off the bat, 100% of Metallica song title, so you're starting off on a very strong foot, sir. And before I get right into the video, one more thing. The entire video of this, it's a 20 minute video, is excellent. The way he just breaks everything down and kind of just like, it's stuff I knew and I recognized right away because I'm such a big Metallica fan, but it's still kind of fun seeing someone do it and point it out and explain it well. So if, if that's kind of interesting to you to see how things are broken down, highly recommend you check out the whole video. We're just checking out the, the completed song right now. All right, let's go. Nice clean intro, I definitely would hear this on one of the 80s albums. Gotta bring the harmonies. Oh god, this is such a Metallica riff. <laughs> Alright, you're already like at an A plus right here, Trey. Like you've already nailed this. Yeah, this is I mean you made it in Metallica song. We'll see how the vocals come along and the vocal melody and stuff, but yeah. It's a little disconcerting how much he sounds like James, but also still sounds like Trey Xavier. It's like two people in one, but still kind of blended together. Are you sure you didn't just cover this song from Death Magnetic? I'm pretty sure the song was on Death Magnetic. I mean, it is so, so much just Metallica. Solo break with the wah. Yep. Production's real nice, too. One kind of major gripe though, you got the braids for Robert, awesome, going for the authenticity there. But then you get straight hair for Kirk. This is curly hair for sure, sir. You could have got like a mullet wig for James. Well, it may be a C- minus for looking like Kirk, but it's a A plus for sounding like Kirk, for sure. Yeah. Trey made this point earlier in the video, where it's kind of like, you know, you do these things, it's like, oh, it sounds like Metallica, but because they, they did that, like, that's their stuff. That's what they've uh, created and shaped and honed for everyone else to kind of build off of. So throughout all this, I'm like, that sounds like Metallica. And yeah, that's the point, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
I've heard a lot of Metallica ripoffs or, you know, I was in the early part of the 2000s internet. I, I, I heard all the, oh, this is a new Metallica song and it's whatever, you know, dumb shit band who thinks they can pull one over on people. And if I heard this, I'd have been, you would not have been able to convince me otherwise that this was Metallica. So. And side note, that black, Matt Black snake bite guitar. Ah, oh, that's so good. That's so beautiful. Look at that thing. I'm adding extra points just for that guitar. Look at that thing. It's gorgeous. And while this definitely would not be out of place in the talk I think this is a bit... Some, it's got a bit more swing or, or groove maybe than I, I think Metallica would do. Um, I don't know, I could just be me. No, 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 I'm, I'm wrong. They, they definitely would do something like this. Especially this bridge. <laughs> I guess voice thing it's still it's still getting me it's like it's like it sounds like james but it also sounds like Trey, and it is really throwing me off not in a bad way it's just like geez on well, kudos to the drummer fucking awesome on here and i caught the tongue sticking out in the beginning so i missed that <laughs> all right Prisoner of Apathy by Trey Xavier. Uh, you, you fucking nailed it, man. Uh, that, that was awesome. Uh, I don't know if you can... Re can I'm pretty sure you can just release that as a song, right? Because I kind of need that on like a running mix or something. Uh, no, that was really awesome. Trey is uh, fantastic at breaking down song ideas and stuff like that. And uh, if you don't follow his Gear Gods channel, uh, it is full of just great useful information and, and stuff like that. And yeah, it, it, this was this was really cool. Um, I hope Metallica writes shit like this for the next album. That'd be really nice. I know Kirk Hammett has a solo EP coming up in the fall in the spring. Um, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, this is this this was killer, man. So uh, overall, Trey, A plus, great job. <laughs>